guys, welcome back to Super Mega Cast. This is episode 80. I'm here with uh, my boy Ryan McGee. That's me. I'm Ryan McGee. I'm fat. I'm free, and I'm and I'm ready to record this podcast, Matt. Well, Ryan, you're you're most of those things. You're not fat though. I would not say you're fat. Not really anymore. anymore I mean, no. I still got I still got that like extra shit here, you know. A little, but but not. But you know, that's not I, like I had. Well, it was described to me at one point in my life of having. A Santa Claus stomach, but that that doesn't mean I was super fat. That just means my stomach was solid round. Hey, and now I think it's a little more just puffy and jiggly. It could have been like a mall Santa, you know. They're never that fat. It could have just been like like a very average, you know. Yeah, to take it like that, you know. I guess you could say I'm getting in better shape. All the better to look in my underwear for you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, Ryan. With me undies, you want to look good in your underwear and be comfortable, right? Yes. But that perfect balance is hard to find. Don't sacrifice style or comfort. Check out MeUndies.com and find the best pair of underwear in the world. And for the ladies, ooh! <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. I just got back from the land of the rising sun, as they call it. I went, give me a high five for that one, yeah. I went right, to, uh, to Japan, uh, visited. Boom. Oh! I can't tell if that's racist or not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure it. I'm sure it's Probably. like it's well in this state it's acceptable racism, but in five years it'll be unacceptable. They'll listen back to this podcast and be like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, like I'm gonna be running for president. Someone's gonna cut that clip. Oh, I guarantee there's a lot worse on this channel they're gonna cut than that clip. Donald Tr Donald Trump Jr. is gonna fuck me over in my 2020 election. When you guys are running against each other? Yeah. It's Donald Trump Jr. versus Ryan McGee. <laughs> yeah, versus Ryan. Man, I, would, I would kill to see that race. You're gonna be my, vi you're gonna be my VP, I'd dude. Be your, oh shit, I'm gonna be part of that race. I mean, if you want, the, the, the offer's on the table. Okay, well, I'll, 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 I'll keep that book open. I'll be thinking about that. I'm sure Philly D's gonna get us, you know, give us some trouble. Oh in, yeah, in the primaries. In the primaries, but we're gonna yeah. take him out real oh, quick. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be the number one nom nominee for the uh, the president, the Green Party, the Green Party. <laughs> I don't know, the party that only gets like three votes. The uh, or, the like, constitutionalist two or three party. <laughs> yeah, we'll start our own party, man. But political parties are stupid. Let's just make our own. We don't have to conform to to one that already exists. Can we just name it the terrorist party and see if anyone <laughs> just bats like, an eye? We just named it. That is a joke. <laughs> we're not actually terrorists. We're terrorizing our current law. Because it's gonna be better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're gonna terrorize America for the better. Absolutely, that's our that's our catchphrase: <laughs> terrorizing America for the better. <laughs> but I, I went on a bunch down. of world record breaking roller yeah. coasters. This park just wanted to break a bunch of records, so they had like steepest drop, um, highest point, I think fastest. Uh, I don't know what it is in miles per hour. Um, miles per hour from Sonic, dude. High five on that one. It's good, good <laughs> Sonic reference. Thanks. I'm loving it, man. Um, McDonald's? But in, in kilometers per hour, it went Mc from zero to McDonald's? 100. What? McDonald's. I'm loving it. You said I'm loving it. Nice. Okay, McDonald's. another great reference, man. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Sweet, <laughs> nice. sweet, 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 sweet. Uh, I don't know what it is in miles per hour, but it went from zero to 130 kilometers per hour in Real like quick. two seconds. Like, it. I have Got never been. Matt. What? It went, it went what? Zero to? Zero to 130 kilometers Real per quick. Hour. What's that a reference so it's to? It's a song. It goes zero to 100 real quick. Well, I don't know that song, Ryan. Go on with your story, man. God, fucking moron. Do you remember the, like, it wasn't even a good one. It just became a big thing. It was the kid next to Justin Timberlake at the Super Bowl halftime show. He looks, he's like on his phone and looking confused and shit. I and saw it, but like, I, I didn't keep up. It I, didn't, didn't register with me. And like, I saw a bunch of people posting it, but I'm like, that's not going to go down. No one's... Like, are people really going to go, dude, you remember that old meme? Oh, my God. He was on some, like, talk show because of it and stuff. Oh, I'm, like... I'm sure it was Ellen. It was probably Ellen, yeah. Even though it may not have been Ellen, Ellen usually is the first one to jump on the whole, like, what's the latest she'll, she'll, she'll thing. Th she'll snatch him up. You know, she got the damn Daniel kid. She snatched that was, him up. That was my Ellen impression. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I, I think to the I, show today. <laughs> I wish she spoke today like that. Today I will dance in cool sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Which way do I run? Matt. Matt! What? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! And before we uh, get into uh, the juicy meat of today's podcast, I'd like to take a moment of silence for our troops. Well, uh, well uh, yeah, I, that I would like to do that. But first, I'd like to uh, talk about our sponsor. Yeah, and now for that moment of silence. The troops? Yes. Can you do a dolphin sound effect? I, I can, can try. Yeah? Yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever tried to make a dolphin sound, so well, this will be 
The first time okay. I've ever tried in my life. Okay, go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was perfect. Was that good? Did that sound yeah. like a dolphin? That that sounded like uh like a SpongeBob dolphin hybrid. Did you know dinos there's references to dinosaurs in the Bible? Is it, are there? Uh just a uh, depending on what interpretation. The Bible's all interpretation, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? It's it's so, completely interpretation. So you can take it as um you can take it as a dinosaur, but you can also take it as an elephant. It's a behemoth. They call it a behemoth and like water. Could have like been water a, monsters. Like a Samoan. <laughs> yeah. You know? Could have been Dwayne the Rock they Johnson. Could, they could Look, have discovered G- Samoa. Dude, if Jesus looked like Dwayne the Rock Johnson, we're back on him again. You can't get off of him. He's too big to climb down too quickly. So so we're on we're on his knees. We're almost yeah. off of him. We're Dwayne. on our way off Dwayne the Rock Johnson. <laughs> so but like he should play Jesus. Have you seen how he looks in Hercules, that live action yeah. Hercules movie? Yeah. That's how he should look, but for Jesus. I would 100% go see <laughs> an action packed Jesus movie. No one's made that, have they? Jesus Christ Superstar. That's that a, that, no. Okay, what about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, how he was in The Mummy as Jesus? <laughs> that like <laughs> terrible CG, whatever he was. Are they crucifying like his, like Jesus in this, in this telling has like a scorpion body and shit? <laughs> So like the cross instead of being in a cross, it just looks more like a uh, a, a like a railroad like a phone track. tower. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> with the diff- like different planks for each legs and shit. Oh my. And then his long uh, little uh, what is it called? Stinger could be pinched on the bottom of the cross. Imagine Michael Jackson doing Long Division. That's how he got his start. He did it live on stage, <laughs> and then he did the moonwalk afterwards in celebration. <laughs> There's like a whiteboard, and he's like he, like he's got some chalk. He's like. Oh, oh. And he's spinning around and grabbing his crotch. Oh, carry the two, put the decimal point out, <laughs> back in the hundreds. Oh. And he would he'd grab his crotch out of sexual excitement because <laughs> long division would get him real riled up. Yeah. And that's why he liked kids. He wanted to teach them the joy of long division. He didn't want to sleep with kids. No, I mean he did sleep with kids. He did. He didn't. F- I don't. Not not necessarily don't... have sex with, but yeah. sleep. He did. He, he, he admitted to sleeping yeah, with kids. Yeah, he did sleep. That's how dogs cool off. The air goes through their fur in a way where it cools them off. Really? Yeah, their fur works as like. Uh, air conditioning type thing. Like an insulation system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you fucking with me, Ryan? No, no, no. Is this a Ryan McGee lie? Mm-mm. I can see it in your eyes. You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you, I promise. I Ryan. looked it up because I was like, I was like, uh, my dog, my dog hot. <laughs> <laughs> my dog hot. <laughs> that search result could either be like, your dog is like too hot temperature wise. That's the first tweet that led your to dog a, like hot. furry or something. Yeah, exactly. Like my dog's Back in hot. The day. You know what? Um, can I go check to see if lunch is here? Dude, go check to see if lunch okay, is here. I'll let's right let's take a little podcast break. No, 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 no. no. Oh, well, he's just going to. All right. I'll... You got a little segment. It's called uh, Matt's uh, like 30 second story time. And okay. You, your topic is. Um, uh, What's my topic? Uh, a Middle Eastern god <sighs> eats an American magician. Okay. So Ryan has given me the prompt of a Middle Eastern god meets an American magician. Okay, well, American magicians are always goofy white guys, so I'm sure there's a great opportunity for some kind of cultural misunderstanding here. So a Middle Eastern god appears in front of an uh, uh, American magician, and he, the American magician goes, Whoa, what is this? Some kind of magic? And he goes, Oh yeah, wait, magic's not real, because I'm a magician. And... And I, of all people, know that magic's fake because everything I do is an illusion. And then the Middle Eastern god goes, no, 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 this is real magic. I am from Middle Eastern heaven. And is your story done? Is food here? Did you end it? Not yet. Are you, can you wrap it up? Yeah, I, okay. I'll wrap it up. Here. I'll wrap it up right now. And, yeah. then, and then he takes the magician. And he takes him on up to Middle Eastern heaven. They eat falafel and they have a, a great time together. And, and the mid and the magician uh, does this crazy card flourish for the uh, Middle Eastern god. Okay. And the Middle Eastern god gives him a seat on his throne uh, because it was so fucking cool heaven. in Middle Eastern heaven. Okay. Okay. okay, that's my hey Ross, what's up? Yeah, not much. Just I walked in the room. I didn't know you're recording anything. Uh, well, well, I look at the screen, Ross. It kind of looks like we're recording, doesn't it? We're about Don't to be take fucking it. rude about it. I'm sorry, dude. When I was a, a youngin, um, I thought I was real funny. Uh, I had a pressure washer out in my driveway, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to draw a penis, because I was a teenage boy. Did you draw a penis? So I pressure washed a penis into the driveway, and uh, believe it or not, it stayed that way. So <laughs> You couldn't just pressure wash more? No, I only, I kind of just like, did you just pressure can't. wash the whole, so for like a couple months, there was a penis in the driveway, and I don't you're, even know if my parents noticed. Your parents were just... 
That shows the state of your parents just like, oh, I don't want to deal with this. Yeah, like, I, I don't think they notice. There's a for a driveway now. It wasn't like right, like, like you, you wouldn't notice it right when you pull in the driveway. It's near like the back of the driveway, but there was definitely. Was there like, a little penis or was it a pretty big penis? It was a pretty big penis. Okay. It was, it was a noticeable penis. It was formidable and it was, it was there. It was girthy. It was girthy. Well, it was, it wasn't. Proportionally, no. Do you remember this penis specifically? Like, you can go back and yeah. imagine like this I can, pressure I can wash see penis it. in your driveway? I can see the pressure wash penis in my driveway, like, okay. very clearly. It, it, it was basically like when a teenage boy draws a penis, that's exactly what it looks like. Like, yeah. you can picture that in your head, because you were a teenage boy and you drew penises. I drew penises so much. Like, like the kid from Superbad. Yes. Just like that. So, uh, you just picture that, that's pretty much what it was. There was this kid, um, I knew, uh... That like he was my friend, but I always messed with him. And um, <laughs> he drew he drew like, is that our way of getting away with these things? They're our friends. Yeah, we were friends. That's like my way of being like, <laughs> yeah, I used to bully this kid, but like, you sound better about it. No, um, when you think about it, every bully would say there's like, yeah, I had this funny little friend back in high school. Used to mess with him. Be, you know, we, we were friends, <laughs> but like in reality, it's like yeah, I used to bully the shit out of this <laughs> yeah. kid. He hated me. Um, no, but we actually were friends. Um, but he he drew a uh. I think he wrote like like a swear word on my on my science paper once while we were in class. It was like like grade seven, so I was like I was like I'm telling on you, just to like mess with him. So I got up and I went to the teacher with my paper, and but then I just asked her some like question like like what time is uh like like which period do we have lunch? Oh, today? I had like, people do that. Second. I had people do that where it's like, are they actually? Get there was that moment when you were younger where that was a thing where it's like, is this person actually gonna tell on me? Or are they just doing it to fuck with me? And you'd have to wait there and agonize. And you're like, like, are they going to do it? Are they going to fuck with me? Are they really going to do it? I know, I know. So I, I went know. up and like, I, of course I didn't actually tell on them. But then I went and I sat back down. And I was like, I was like, she wants to see you and, <laughs> oh and, and, and bring this, bring this with you. And How I gave old were you? I was in seventh grade. <laughs> seventh grade. And, uh, and, God, and he, if you lived in London, you'd be a little pickpocket. I know, I know. <laughs> he, so he go, he goes up to the desk and he takes my paper and he hands it to her. To... <laughs> and she's like. I see him, she gives him this look, and he looks disappointed, he comes back down, and he's like, well, I got lunch detention. <laughs> Thanks for telling on me. And I was like, I didn't tell on you, told on yourself. <laughs> and he got God. lunch detention. Matt, did you, you didn't stop him from telling on no, himself? No, it was funny. You, it was funny. It was funny, dude. Dude, speaking of pizza, I'm going to tell you a little story oh. about Pizzagate. Uh-oh. And, uh... The period, the the twenty minutes of time where I almost had a panic attack because I thought that I might believe in Pizzagate. There's a bunch of people that just let out a sigh. Go, ah, oh, we almost got him. Yo, he was he was almost on our side. Oh, God damn it. Uh, well, I it was late one night. I was at a friend's house and we were all uh we were ironically watching Pizzagate videos because we we're like this is stupid as shit. Let's let's watch let's let's see what these videos are about. And like we're watching this one pizza gate video, it's like explaining it, and we're like, this is so this is so stupid. And then like the, the person's like, but the most damning piece of evidence might be this. And then they started going over like like It's it's Hillary. It's a photo of Hillary Clinton at an auction where there's a bunch of children chained to the floor, right? And she and she has a shirt that says Pizzagate on the shirt. Yeah, fuck. That and is I was damning. Like, Shit, evidence. that is pretty damning. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, but, but, like, they, like, listed this, like, little piece of, like, quote-unquote evidence, and I just remember, I was like, oh, shit, that makes sense, and, like, my friends, like, all, we all were all looking around the room, just, like, like, wide-eyed, just, we were, we were, like, fuck, dude, like, like, swallowing, like, pulling at your shirt necks, (laughs) (laughs) like, tugging my car, like, (laughs) oh, shirt necks, (laughs) (laughs) shirt necks. Ah, that's my, another my, one of those. My shirt neck's a little tight. <laughs> my shirt neck's a little tight. No, but like me and my Dude, friends my are all, shirt, my shirk. What type of shirt is that? A t-shirt or is that a shirt neck shirt? <laughs> like we're all looking around the room, like, oh shit, dude, that's a uh, that makes sense. And I just remember thinking, like, no, man, I can't believe in pizza. Dude. No, <laughs> I no, can't this be is one of those guys. This is asinine. This can't be real. But it was making so much sense what I was watching. I was like, fuck, dude. And, and like we stopped the video and like we turned it off and, and there was kind of like silence around the room and, and we just were like, guys, we'll never talk about this ever. Never bring this up. We're never talking about this again. And then like 20 minutes passed and we were like doing something else. My friend was just like, guys, I can't get this off my mind. <laughs> like, like, do we believe in Pizzagate now? We all looking shit up like, come on, we got to check these. Yeah. These so we facts. start, we were like, we got to fact check this. So, so we dug deeper and then, um, we realized that the, the way the video had presented the, uh, evidence was they left out something very important 
yeah. uh, which completely debunked it. So then I let out a huge sigh of relief and I was like, okay, Pizzagate's not real. My girlfriend asked me, she said, what's yes, 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 daddy likes? Just one day. She you went, I'll that. show you. And then, uh, oh boy, did I pull up a yes, 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 daddy likes compilation for her? Yeah. I didn't actually, I just, exp- I, I just truthfully explained what yes, 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 daddy likes was. And it was not a fun moment for me. I was like, that's, um. You make it sound like you're admitting that y- you have alcohol abuse problems. Like you sat down and turned on one lamp in the room. Listen, honey. There's like a half eaten apple, like on a napkin. She put it down. There's like, still, <laughs> there's like lipstick fresh on it, but you can see the fresh lipstick and the surrounding apple start to, the surrounding apple is starting to just rot away. That's so specific. Yeah. As like a scene. You're so good at world building, Ryan. Thanks. I just like, when I think of Winnie the, the Pooh, I feel sad. I don't know why. I'm thinking of like the search, the search for Christopher Robin is the one I'm thinking of. There might've been heffalumps in that one. Didn't I just remember there's like a lot of, uh, a lot of tension, a lot of, um, sort of like uncertainty and uh, and the, the the friendships are tested yeah, in that it, movie. It it was weird how they decided to go with the ending of actually not finding Christopher Robin. Yeah, and no, le- he's le- de- leaving it ambiguous for the audience <laughs> to decide whether he survived in the wilderness or not. Yeah, why did they? Right, that's so weird. And like, it's pretty. It's pretty like like you're certain that he died from like exposure in the wilderness. Like they they hinted that pretty. I mean, strongly. they found his shorts. So yeah, yeah like he did. He they, wasn't wearing pants. Like he died they, in the wilderness. <laughs> They test the ending. They tested the ending where they find just his mangled corpse. And it, didn't, it didn't do well. With didn't the, go well with the, the audience. Groups. Yeah. So. And, and then Winnie the Pooh opens his eyes. It like the camera revolves around and it shows this like huge monstrous bear with blood on its claws, and it's all about <laughs> Pooh finding the true nature of his form. It's the, it's the same bear. It's the same bear from Balto. It's like the big it's twist. Just, like, like, like he can be this sweet bear, but he'll never be able to erase his true nature yeah. as this, like, oh, killing yeah. machine. Could you imagine yeah, the if they actually like... ended that movie, the search for Chris, or the hunt for Christopher Robin? <laughs> the hunt. The hunt for Christopher Robin sounds like they got, like, rifles and they're looking for him. <laughs> No, like, uh, imagine if they had ended, like, the search for Christopher Robin where, like, like he just dies in the woods. And, like, they like they find him out there. And he's, they're, like, he's a little blue. Like, he's, like, he died from exposure out in the woods. Like, yeah, the, the cold, Winnie like, the North just... Dakota woods or wherever Winnie the Pooh The 100-acre woods, dude. Is, Is that yeah. in North acres. Dakota? It's got to be in North Dakota. <laughs> I think it's in a he's... book. I think they exist in a novel. So, so does North Dakota. <laughs> Have you guys ever done, like, one of those, um, like, spicy pepper eating challenges or anything like that yeah we were actually on a channel called hot pepper gaming where we had to like review a game right after eating a habanero pepper yeah and sometimes habanero when you pepper. when you eat a pepper it, it comes out the other end oh speaking yeah. of coming out the other end oh i i'm about I to shit my pants all right so. ryan, ryan's right Ry- okay nathan it's just gonna be you and me for a little bit because ryan's got a <laughs> got another emergency ryan's having some form of crisis right now wow Ryan, okay. what Ryan, what if this was like a live podcast and you were on stage right now? Would you have to just get up and leave? 100%. I'm not going to shit my pants on stage. All right. Well, well uh, so do we do we continue do you edit this we'll or do we just continue? Topic. No, no, we continue, Nathan. This is this we is We continue uncut. on. Okay, Cuz hey, I mean, you is um What's the topic, Ryan? Uh race relations. Oh, we're not talking about that. Um mittens uh, are like no probably between. the most like uh in in terms of like useful, like the least useful thing you could possibly own. Excuse me. Like why not gloves? Where you could, like you? Yeah, it, but what it about renders those... your your fingers like inept when you wear mittens? It's like oh, but they're more cushiony. Use... You can still grab you, onto things. You can you get cushiony gloves. What do you what do you need gloves for? Because I can use my digits while <laughs> yeah, keeping my yeah, hands. Yeah, but like your digits just form a form a mitten when you grab things. <laughs> I'm not so. Gumby. It's already you. You're, you're already a mitten. That turn that turns me into Gumby if I wear mittens because then I just have I have. It's two still large... the same grasp as you would. Look at this. Look at the form as if I was grabbing a yeah, cup. But that's can... a mitten form. Yeah, that's for grabbing a cup, Ryan. What if I need to like do Grab, stuff what, like what, this? What else do you need? Why would you need? What if to I need to type when I'm wearing mittens? What you if can't I can't see what he's writer? doing right now, Nathan? But he's like, ooh. Look. Well, because you use your fingers. Why do you need to use, Why are you wearing mittens in an indoor like establishment? If it's a cold, you know, one of those cold rooms for to keep the uh, the computers cold. Exactly. I I think the chances of you, <laughs> do, you doing get your special editing typing gloves. Yeah. The chances of you doing your editing in a Ralph's freezer is very low. You don't know my life. <laughs> you don't know what I could be doing a year from now. You just want to be prepared. I understand. But that's um, the thing. It's like mittens it's, all yeah. the way, dude. Mitt. 
I'm team yes, mittens. Yes, they're, they're comfortable. Mittens are comfortable, I do have to say. But it's basically like wearing oven mitts everywhere. It's then like, get those mittens where you take them off and then But then your gloves. fingers are going to be cold. That what defeats you, the purpose. What are you talking about? If you take it off, your then fingers are still glo- There's still gloves underneath. Oh, I thought you were talking about the type where you just like open it and your fingers are exposed. No, just the tops of your fingers. Well, then they're getting cold. Oh, it's that not even that the purpose. bad. Then oh just wear God. gloves. <laughs> You're just it solves the problem if you just wear gloves. Pain. Do it might, for me, Ryan. Might have been, I mean, do it for me. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready for the uh, Tasmanian uh, tiger devil? Tasmanian tiger devil? I'm yeah. ready for it, man. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on one second, sorry. <laughs> 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 he's got to hype himself now, up. Now, what do you want out of him? Like, what emotion do you think I should I should portray? Passion, Ryan. Passion. Passion. Like, yeah, like, like sexual passion. Nathan? It could be sexual. That's up to just Nathan. Be like, just like a passion for a project, like a summer workshop or something. <laughs> Building, fixing up a car with his old man. Yeah. <laughs> well, or yeah, you could even like, combine uh, those two. That, that scene in Space Jam where he cleans up the gym for everybody. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm I'm channeling kind of like a inner passion of cleanliness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um Okay, here we go. Funny, 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 funny noise. Blah, blah, there we go. There it is. Holy shit. Okay, I just had the there it is. Thank if you, you if you can't see it right now, audience, but Nathan is fully naked cheering in our Skype call. I Nathan, just, put I some d- clothes I on, buddy. Very, I very slowly took off my clothes, and now I didn't I even am. I didn't even notice it. I just looked, and you were naked. Uh, just, just he lost weight just like Jared, dude. Yeah, he didn't touch kids like Jared. Hopefully, did. Well, I, I well hope hopefully not. he didn't touch kids at all. Yeah, well, because J- that sounded like the particular way in which Jared, <laughs> <laughs> in the way Jared did. He didn't, he didn't do it how Jared did it. <laughs> yeah, but. God damn, dude. No I one does it like Jared. <laughs> it can only be Jared. <laughs> oh I wonder God. how he's doing, dude. He's in prison. Hopefully he's uh, he's having a shitty, horrible time. I hope he is, too. Hopefully each day someone takes a pair of pliers and rips out a tooth, and then, then they stab it back into another spot in which they ripped out another tooth, and they just continue the process. Just mixing his teeth. Like musical teeth. Yeah. It's like musical chairs, but with his teeth. Yeah. Poor Jared, man. I just can't help but feel bad for him. I, I, That's sarcasm, just for the listeners that couldn't pick that up. I hope every day he's forced to bite on a metal bar as hard as possible with those teeth that have been pre-stabbed into his gums. You thought about this. This is He's this a piece is, of shit. He is a real piece of shit. <laughs> just, Jared is absolutely a piece of shit. He went from America's sweetheart. I think, <laughs> America's sweetheart? I think Jared Fogle was America's think, sweetheart. I don't, think he was, I don't think he was as far as America's... Jared Fogle, America's <laughs> sweetheart. He went from America's sweetheart to pedophile in prison. <laughs> Poor Jared. At the time of recording this, it's International Women's Day, so shout out to all you ladies out there. May you, may you keep may you keep going strong. Not all of them, of course, but like all the good ones. Sure, all the good ones, all the good ladies out there, all the bad ladies, be gone. Just shoo, shoo, shoo. Just shoo. get out of here. You're- but all, all you good ladies, hell yeah. All you positive women, even some negative women, because negative women point out things that need to be more pop. You know that type. Yeah, of shit. exactly. But I mean, like but criminals. If you're, yeah, if, if you're, you're, if you're a like criminal, a bad, like a criminal a murderer, woman, yeah, or a, or psychopath, a child dumpsterer, <laughs> child dumpster. <laughs> so I see you put here as your uh, profession, child dumpster. What, what does no, that mean? A child dumpsterer. Like, oh, oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, the judge is like, oh, that clears it right up. Thank you. <laughs> you want, you want to take a little break? You want to take a little break and let the uh, let the let the AC go? Because let the it AC is, go. It's got to be like eighty five degrees in here right yeah, now. Yeah, it's fucking. This recording toasty. room is not like something like when it was created. The 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 ventilation was not done properly. Yeah. So it's oh, it's hot. Like like basically, we have to let the AC run in this recording room. Uh, before we record, and then within 10 minutes, it's burning hot again. And it's just like you're sitting in a furnace while you're recording. And for the break, uh, here are monks chanting as we are whispering, um, go get some super mega merch or whatever in the background. Okay, here we go. Go buy super mega merch at sharkrobot.com slash super mega. Do you want to support your boys? You can support us. At sharkrobot.com slash super mega. Super mega merch is pretty cool merch. You'll look really cool at school when you're wearing it. Out. That's why we need that universal language. We need Unilog, baby. <laughs> you can fucking bring that up again. <laughs> have we ever talked about that on the podcast? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure we have, like early on. It was a late. Tr- okay, when I was in high school, I had a I had a free period 
and I was bored, so I was like, I'm gonna make my own language, and it's gonna be super easy and universal, so anyone can learn it. It's Unilog, baby. And, and it was called Unilog. And then I showed you and Daniel one day, and Daniel gave you Daniel constant shit about it, making so I much never shit. Said he just much. not stop making fun. Yeah, you you didn't make fun of me for I it. I think even I was like, oh, I want to like look at it. I think that's I was cool. like super supportive. And Daniel was like, Pfft. I know. All right, you made your own language. He'd fucking always nerd. bring it up. Always bring it up. Like we'd be, we'd sit down to watch a movie, and he'd like open the subtitles, like, oh, "Do they have Unilog subtitles?" I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Dude, I was in high school. Uh, so, guys, let's uh, let's all learn Unilog. Let's let's make a universal language. There already is a universal language that oh, does shit. isn't spoken Esperanto. Yeah, I just so while you were busy making your own language, I probably looked like a fucking racist because I would constantly draw like stick figure wars, but. You know, it was black stick figures versus white stick figures because I because it's just a you, pen need, you need to differentiate them. Yeah, so one's just an open circle, one's a filled in circle for the head. Probably just looked like a race. Just war. say they're masks. It it, it might have looked like a stick man race war, yeah. but you could just say maybe there's there's they're ninja masks or yeah like ski Mesh, masks or something. Yeah, yeah, that masks. works. Subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, because that's you know we upload every single day. Every single every, day. It is miserable please yes. subscribe it is taxing on our mental health physically um, i'm losing weight physically uh, we're actually getting back problems this isn't a joke at this point my voice is i'm losing my 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 vocal range because of screaming into a microphone every yeah. day guys. our days have become kind of segmented together because it's just a constant it's just a blur out of, it's yeah. just plain it's, it's like staring i'm staring at a screen 2018 we're already three like three months in it, you know i i i, I wanted already. i wanted it all to go black and yeah. so uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Yep.